James Kaufman, World News Report, today, September 1st, 2024. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, we've just had one of the longest, if not the longest term, M-class solar flares that I remember ever seeing. This was only an M5.57, but most of it was eclipsed by the incoming limb of our sun and was much stronger because most of it was not earth-facing and eclipsed by that limb. Now, we also had sympathetic flares go off during this long period solar flare. We had one of them come out 3806 during this flare. We'll take a look at all of it on GOES SUV. So, we do have the M5.57 print up here, but they haven't assigned it to a sunspot group because they can't. It's come from an unnamed sunspot group that's still around the limb of our sun, most probably an X plus solar flare. Now, we did have some sympathetic solar flares that occurred during that time period. Now, we'll point those out. It looks like we additionally had an M1.4 that peaked around 8 UTC time, about 1 in the morning central time here in the U.S. Currently, we have a 10% chance of having an X-class solar flare. We have a 60% chance of an M-class solar flare, which now is over a hundred percent and of course look at that baseline a c7.49 a hundred percent chance of a c-class solar flare because our baseline has not dropped below a c flare in months now over to hmi intensogram the long term we're talking about six hours plus of m-class solar flare came from a sunspot group just around the limb of our sun here. Now, it has not yet been named, but probably will be by the end of the day, and it will be a doozy. This is starting off to be a September to remember. Now, 3811 was named, and I will say that 3806 had a sympathetic solar flare during this long-term solar flare that you're about to see. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you can see the activity coming around the inbound limb there. Unbelievable. It's hard to imagine this lasted over six hours. Over six hours. And you can see that there are several sympathetic solar flares out of 3608 during this time period. You can see it pop off with smaller flares. And I can say the same for this sunspot right here. There's uh, several smaller sympathetic solar flares from it as well. Looks like the entire sun wants to explode, especially this sunspot group coming around the limb. I don't remember seeing an explosion that large in some time. All right, let's zoom in. This is the M flare. Lasted over six hours. It doesn't look like it hit Earth very hard. This is our D-Region Absorption Prediction Center here. But it was very consistent and all the way across the Atlantic and into the U.S. As you can see here, uh, it wasn't directly Earth-facing. And Earth's not going to take the blunt of this chrome mass ejection that most definitely occurred. We will see if NASA has modeled it. It's a little early, so I seriously doubt that they have. But this was a flare to remember. If this would have been Earth-facing, this could have been horrific. Now, this is 3811. It's reverse polarity, white over black. But look at this. The unnamed sunspot here coming around the limb that we can obviously see is white over black in the southern hemisphere making a reverse polarity sunspot here and it is a huge one when this comes into play which will be 
By day's end, we're in nothing but trouble for 12 days while that sunspot, and I'm sure many others, transit the Earth-facing side of our solar disk. This is going to be a September to remember. Now, this area or sunspot group has been flaring ongoingly for hours, days, if you will. I pointed out to you guys yesterday how it looked uh, like it was constantly flaring from this area. And this is Soho at 284 angstroms. And this was taken at 7.06 this morning central time. And it shows that, well, it was actually misbehaving at that time as well. Although the solar flare that we're dealing with, the M5.57 solar flare, there was probably an X plus solar flare. Started at 12 UTC time, so 5 a.m. this morning, and lasted to around just after 1800 UTC time, or right about 1 p.m. Yes, it was that long lasting of a solar flare. I will say I've never seen a solar flare last that long, an M flare last that long. And I'm guessing again, it was an X flare partially eclipsed by the limb of our sun, saving Earth from all of the effects of a stronger flare. We'll take one last look at that on Go's SUV. It is gigantic and extremely long lasting. All right, there you are, folks, an unnamed sunspot that we can't see as reverse polarity now. And we did have sympathetic solar flares coming out of 3806. This is just during the time period. And also this sunspot right here. Look at the plasma leaving the sun's surface uh, from this sunspot that's still unnamed. I'm guessing it's going to be 3012. It's going to be my guess there, 3012. And it will probably be the next sunspot named here. So let's keep an eye on this. We will check to see if NASA has modeled this yet. My guess would be no, because this is just finished up. Now, NASA has modeled a large flare headed towards Venus again. But I believe that was a flare from yesterday. I could be wrong, and they could have modeled it. It definitely does not look as strong and as long-lasting as what we saw today. Again, I believe that that has not been modeled yet. And if y'all join us for our live space weather update tonight, it most probably will be. Keep your eyes to the skies, guys. It's September, and again, it will be a September to remember. Please share our videos. Please subscribe, and always remember that Anything's possible. Bizarro world.